Congressman Bob Good here with your weekly good news from Washington. And the big news of the week is we passed a true Republican NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, a first time in many years that we passed it with almost exclusively Republican votes because we reversed a lot of the bad policies that the Biden administration had. They were focused on lethality and having an effective, ready force. And we eliminated the funding for abortion in the military, the funding for transgender surgery, the focus on climate and diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we also uh, took some steps towards reinstating military members who were discharged for not getting the vaccine. So a good, strong bill, a National Defense Authorization Act that we passed this week. Also, I had uh, my 25th uh, personal bill uh, sponsored this week. Uh, the the, uh, a bill to repeal the charter for the National Education Association, the largest teacher union in the country, that has become a just a terrible, woke, uh, pro-Democrat uh, organization that gives $100 million a year to the Democrat Party uh, for election purposes. And instead of focusing on academic excellence in students, it focuses on radical policies, transgender policy, abortion policy, uh, uh, CRT ideology, it fought against uh, reopening our schools after COVID. It was in favor of vaccine mandates and mask mandates for our kids. So this NEA should no longer have a federal charter that puts the congressional stamp of approval on them and actually gives them some tax breaks. So my bill would repeal that. This week, I also was able to pass out of uh, the, my uh, Education and Workforce Committee, my Health Subcommittee, Health, Employment, Labor, and Pensions, a bill that will bring trans, it's, it was, the bill is titled Transparency and Coverage Act, and it's trying to bring down costs uh, for health care for all Americans to bring more transparency, more accountability, uh, and more competition in pricing, and really to let the American people make informed decisions to remove the hidden nature and the surprise billing, things like that, and also to try to bring PBMs, or pharmacy be benefit managers, into compliance with putting the interests of patients first. Uh, lastly, my uh, Education Committee, we held hearings on uh, the foreign influence on our college campuses, particularly the influence of the Chinese Communist Party with these Confucius Institutes, the billions of dollars that are donated to universities uh, by uh, entities affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party. And we're really trying to bring attention and transparency to that and accountability and really trying to reduce the foreign influence on our college campuses from our adversaries. Thank you so much for the privilege of representing you here in Washington. Reach out to my office if we can help you. Thank you.